Okay, well, here we are. I decided I would try some a little bit more fun fireworks. I thought that the fireworks that I did previously was a little boring, so I kind of updated things. I took whoops, I took out the um, gravity, and I increased the speed, and I decreased the life of not the. I stopped doing a life per particles in a per particle, and I decided to do a life per explosion. So. What I wanted to do now, excuse me, was to have multiple explosions. So what I do each time there's an explosion is I have a starting position, excuse me, and a length of the explosion life. That's pretty much it. I mean, the speed is not is not calculated based on the starting location. So, so what I could do is just create um, 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 um so let's go like this let's say we want to do five explosions on the screen at any one time okay so then when you do your new start and when you do your life there you go done but we want to do num vertices okay five explosions and if you're going to do randomize them so that'd be each one's going to get about 300 so let's go right now they're 1500 and they look great uh, let's go let's say each one gets a thousand so let's go 5000 burst count vertices okay speed okay so each one gets 5000 So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, what we're gonna do is is set um, here. Let's see. So when we do our init, right? Life of explosions. Okay. So now we want to do for int i equals zero i plus five. Okay. So we want to do life sub i. Okay. So each each of the five is going to have life. Okay. And then new start. Init position of each particle. Okay, so here's where we're going to go. So we'll give them. Okay, so new start. So here, new. Hold on. Underscore start. Sub i, sub zero equals and then we will choose a random location to start right here same thing don't need that okay Okay, so each time we start at init position of each particle with random explosion. So we will choose a random number. Um, let's just go like this, glu int um, explosion equals random percent five plus or wait just random percent five because it'll go zero to four which this will go zero to four and that's good so there so then here instead of the new x start we're just going to go new start explosion right oh and i've already forgot hey what are you doing so that's going to be sub one it's going to be sub zero okay So it's going to choose a random explosion that we've already defined here. And then Okay. Decrease life of explosion each frame. Okay, so then you'd want to do that for all of them. For int i equals 0. Life, 
sub i. Okay, happy now? And then Oh, this is going to get a little more complicated, but okay, so each time that goes down one. So then you need to take this in here if life sub i equals zero. Okay, then you need to reset all. Actually, all you need to do is reset the random position and the life for that particular. See, and you need to do this. So that particular explosion just fizzled out. Okay, so we're going to give a new life and a new location. And then what you need to do in this case, or what I need to do, is cycle through all of the vertices and find which ones had the previous... <laughs> I may have just gotten myself into trouble. Because we need a link, uh, shoot to. <laughs> so what we need to do is because we need to reset all of the particles of that particular explosion, and I don't have a way to reference that explosion um, because I'm, yeah. So I need each. Oh man. That means I have to add another variable in here. So speed vertices. Okay, so let's just go like this. GL U int. And let's just call it um, which exp. <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that great? <laughs> so each time I apply, not there, right in here. Explosion equals that. Vertices equal that. So then you want to go which exp sub i equals explosion. Okay, that's you know easy enough. I realize I should make be making structures and blah blah blah, but I just don't want to do that right now. I just want to get into this. Okay, so then we start sub i. Okay. And then, so then you go for int So we go through each of the vertices if explosion no, no, no. which exp sub j equals um, equals I. Okay, so we found the explosion that matched the one that just fizzled out. So then what we do for that one is we go uh, what's the particle? Particle. Vertices 0 and 1, right? Oh, okay. New start sub i sub zero. Okay. And then vertices j one equals new start sub i sub one. Okay, so what that will do is it will take it will look through all the particles and determine which particles are a part of the explosion that we just fizzled out. Okay, because we compared we decreased the life of the explosion. And then we checked it with zero, and if it's zero, then we know that I, the ith explosion, is the one that fizzled out. So, and then, and then we're reprogramming it, and then we're setting it right in here. And then the life is already set, and then okay. So, are we setting anything else? So when we start this life sub i equals that 
No, so we don't even keep track of the particle dying. We keep track of the explosion dying. And then we reset the particles based on if the explosion has fizzled out. Okay. So the new start equals that. Vertices equal that. There's another error right here. Life. Reset life of explosion. Um, why? Because we do that right here. So then we don't need to check for this. Okay, and then that just updates all the particles. All right, well, let's see what this does. It could be a complete disaster. I have no idea if it will work or not. Let me look at the initialization again. So it's here. New start, explosion. So the vertices actually get set there, and then they get set here. Random color. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> okay, so we have like a bunch of explosions going off at the same time, which is pretty awesome. Um, it would be kind of cool to set them all to the same color if they're a particular explosion, but eh, we'll save that for um, another time. Anyways, we already got up to 11 minutes. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, and be sure to like and subscribe.